winners, semis, Project M 3.0 here at Red Like a Book 2, EMG We on X versus EMG Toronto Joe. Let me just fix this for a second because now our man Toronto Joe is sponsored by Battle Paddles. And uh, if you want to check that out, Instagram.com slash Battle Paddles or any social networking site.com slash Battle Paddles. And uh, you pretty much get it. So we got We on X playing Old School Fox, Melee Fox, and Toronto Joe. Going for the snake. Charger's snake is actually really good. Sets up some crazy traps. He knows a lot of technology when it comes to uh, frame traps and sticking you with the C4s and putting you to sleep with the trank darts. So, definitely stoked to see this. I mean, we on X already at 100% here. Tio Joe not taking very much damage at all. The Cypher out of shield. Wow, that's super safe. Definitely a good good option against uh, characters like Fox and Falco with that one frame shine. You need characters that have good moves out of shield to do things like that. Catches him with the neutral air of the Cypher. Oh my god. Tio Joe just baiting and down tilting and try trying to get... Ooh! Wave shine to down smash. Wow, catches him with the forward air coming back. Watches him do the get up and then forward, forward smashes. Oh! Eon X tries to sweet spot that ledge and get over the down smash mine, but the side B, I guess uh, the the wind on it or the wind box as they're called, hit the mine. The mine exploded, killing Eon X, racking up that damage with the lasers. <laughs> Forget that the mine is there. Tio Joe explodes himself to get back to the stage faster. 169 percent though. 169 with the little boy watching. Oh, gets dash attack into up air. That reverse Dr. PP combo. Dash attack to down air. Dash attack to up air. Oh my god. Back throw to the down smash mine. Oh, tries to stick him there, but doesn't get it. Wow. Pivot grabs. Doesn't get the drill grab. Oh my god. We are next just, just nailing him with these up airs. Keeping the up air pressure on. Choosing to just side be straight to the edge instead of using this double jump. Wanting to get back to the stage faster. Oh my god, runs in with a dash attack and gets back there. Tiojo just drops through the platform and smashes him. That up there is going to seal the deal though. We're going to be tied at two stocks apiece. This is a close match. Oh my goodness. Both characters are spacing so well right now, no one really wanted to go in and commit because uh, a grab from each character could end in a super dirty combo at least like 40%. As we're going to see here, oh, doesn't get the forward smash out of it. Wow, up ease to back air. Snake's up B is so good. It literally like brings you up with him at the perfect height so he can hit you again. Stupid. Survives the up smash though. Drops the C4 and det detonates it to try and protect himself. Doesn't want to get up there as it's coming back down. That mine explodes. Um, Snake's down smash mines. Like, they only last on the stage for like a minute or a minute and a half or so. And then they just explode on their own. Leonix is smart though. He waits, watches, watches Snake's telegraphed ass recovery and then back airs. Joe is smart too though, grabs a grenade that time, so that when his up air, up he ends, he gets blasted to the other side of the stage, and he gets back on safely. Neutral is going to seal the deal though, 106 in park, hashtag BET, Camilo is in there, gets the forward smash, 0-0, one stock apiece. The crowd is growing here for winner semis, We are next versus T.O. Joe, both players on Team EMG. Oh my god, the ledge cancel down airs. Snake's down air is so slow, but when you can connect with it, you just... Oh my god, I think he stuck him. Oh my goodness, he did stick him. Up tilt to down be detonation. That was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. Tio Joe takes the first match against Camillo. That was unreal. Just last week at the first ever Melee Night in Canada, Tio Joe actually knocked Weon X into the loser's bracket in this same matchup 
Snake versus Fox. EMG we are next going Mark this time though and taking him to FD hoping to get some chain grab some forward throw chains on him it's a forward air to down air really easy to do with Mark in this game all of uh, Mark's aerials just like set you at the perfect trajectory you don't even have to like tipper them to get the right angles just kind of toss them out there and it's good to go Camilla doing some pretty good edge guarding though not letting Joe come back Keeping him at the edge of that stage. Oh my god, forward air to down air, like I was just saying. Joe detonate, detonates himself to survive. Forward air. Oh my goodness. Uh, almost fully charged forward smash. Let's it go just a bit before it's fully charged. <laughs> Joe tossing that down smash mine there. Hoping to get a throw into it. Oh, blows it up with zone grenade by accident. And that's going to be a tipper. And a stock. 77%. Camilo just killing it. Marth is definitely a good choice against the snake, but Joe gets the forward throw into the mine. That's a lot of percent. Back throw to forward smash. Forward air. Uses a double jump though. Can't continue the combo. Aww, oh, tries to get him with the tipper. That's gonna be. Oh, I thought that was gonna be a spike. Wow. Snake's forward smash is so powerful, and it has those three hits. The third hit is actually like super strong, and you can delay it for so long too. Kind of like Link's uh, Link's forward air or forward smash or Pit's forward smash. Like all those characters are two part smashes. You can delay. Oh my goodness! And he just dumpsters him right back. So dirty. But yeah, Snake's forward smash. You can just delay it for so long. Really mind games. Definitely don't want to get caught trying to shield grab it. Geo Joe keeping his distance though with those grenades. Really realizing in order to get in on Camillo, just got that big ass sword. Oh my goodness, almost gets a forward air to down air again. But to get in on him on Marth with Snake, you're gonna need to, you know, hit him with an explosive or something, you know, try it try and open him up a bit, and then just jump in there with your aerials and your tilts and your smashes. Because Martha's got that range. Martha doesn't even really need to get near you. Wow, spikes him. I thought he was going to set the down B mine on him. There it is. This is it, though. Joe just jabbing and waiting to see what he, uh, Leon X does. He's going to detonate it. Yep. Invincibility frames, though. It doesn't hurt him. He's a whole stock down. Oh my goodness! Catches him with the up smash. Who uses that? Who uses Mart's up smash? We on X does, and he's good with it too. Oh wow, okay. Explodes. I think there was a grenade there. Catches him with the back here though. He's still a full stock ahead of Tio Joe. Oh my goodness. Neutral is. The pressure is real. We on X not backing up at all. Back throws. Oh, no back throw to forward smash. Keep it on the pressure with the forward airs and neutral airs. Like, like I, oh my god, back throw into the mine. Like I was saying before, uh, Marth doesn't really have to, have to do much in this matchup. Like, he has so much range, he can just pretty much, just, uh, like, go in. Like, you can just be super aggressive and I think get the payoff, because, I mean, you can't really get shield grabbed, uh, by Snake if you space your moves properly. The forward airs and neutral airs. And, uh, if Snake does try to get, uh, get at you, you can just forward air him away or up tilt and just start your combo. Like we're seeing now, like that's pretty much what's happening to Tio, Tio Joe. He's trying to go in, uh, and then he's getting uh, countered. And when he's not going in, uh, Camilla's just being super aggressive and getting the payoff too. Joe gets the, the ledge roll to seal the deal, but he is, he is, uh, he's got like a stock and a half worth of percent on him right now. Wow, wave dash towards forward smash. It's gonna be Uno a Uno. One for Camillo, we on X, and one for EMG Toronto Joe. Everything on the top row is banned. We're using Apex 2013 rules, or Apex 2014. I think I've been saying 2013 all day. I'm still stuck in the past. Stuck in the past. And um, so the whole middle row is counterpick. The whole top row is, is banned. And uh, we are just deciding here. Just deciding. I think we're going to Smashville.
winner's semis though. So, we're only doing a best out of three. And we are go- Oh! Trojo is switching to Zero Suit Status for this last match. And Weon X is gonna stay Marth. Very confident. Oh my goodness! Two forwarders to a tipper forward smash. He only had 12% on him when he got that kill. That was ridiculous. Back there. Oh, doesn't get the down tilt. Oh my goodness, another forward air to down air. Two stocks gone. He only got about 14% on each of these stocks. Oh, definitely past the 14% mark now. See if Chiojo can capitalize. Get a whole stock off of this. Get another stock, get an easy gimp and tie it up. Oh my goodness. Gets hit by like four forward airs extremely quickly. Oh, I thought I was going to see another forward air down here. Down air, uh, Tipper Down air also has a lot of hits done in this game as well. So it's uh, like short hop, kind of behind the person. Tipper Down air with them, or Down air, Down air and Tipper to kind of like knock them up and start your combo really nicely too. Camilo gets another F smash Tipper. Joe gets a bag here because Camilo whips a counter, but he's still a full entire two stocks ahead. Both of them starting at 0%, but that two stock deficit already at 45. Chiojo's gonna have to play extremely safe here. Counts them with two down airs. Camilo just doing what he does, just going to work. Neutral air to down tilt to back air, and that is gonna be it. A very, very quick. Game 3, a minute and 40 seconds long, and EMG Weon X takes it.